Close your eyes, take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And if long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. You can try shorter breathing, or in short, out long, in long, out short. Fast, slow, heavy, light, deep or shallow. Try to see what rhythm of breathing feels good right now. I remember when I first went to stay with the John Fuang, for me that was really revelatory, that you could play with the breath, adjust the breath. Prior to that, I'd had meditation instructions that say you don't do anything to the breath at all, just watch it on its own. But if you begin to notice what's going on in the mind and the body, you begin to realize it's not just happening on its own. There's an element of intention there. And since there's an element of intention, you might as well make use of it. After all, the purpose of focusing on the breath, or one of the main steps in focusing on the breath, is to learn how to breathe in a way that gives rise to a sense of fullness, gives rise to a sense of pleasure. And it's not going to happen if you don't allow yourself to adjust the breath to feel good. So watch. As a John Fung would say, be really observant and use your ingenuity. That's how we come to the truth. He also said that the truth lies within us. After all, what did the Buddha teach? He taught the body and the mind, and how the body and the mind interact in a way that gives rise to suffering. But we can also train the mind so that it doesn't have to suffer. That's something we can do as well. So the truth lies within us. The reason we don't see the truth is because we're not true. And when we're not true, all we see is fake things. But if we're true in our practice, really true in being virtuous, really true in getting the mind concentrated, really true in using our discernment, that's when we'll find the truth. Now, this, of course, is a tradition that you find throughout the Forest Tradition. John Fung passed it on from a John Lee. As a John Lee said, if you're, if you're not true, then all you're going to get are dolls. You're not going to get the real thing. But the truth is always there to be seen, right here, right now. It's not far away. These are the truths we need to know. What's the mind doing right now? What's the body doing right now? What in the mind is creating suffering where it doesn't have to? And this principle, of course, goes back to John Munn. There was that time when he was asked by a monk who stayed in the, in the city and who didn't believe that the forest monks could know anything. The city monk said, Here I am living in a, the great metropolis of Bangkok with all these wise monks around. And even then, there are times when I come up with a problem in the Dharma that I don't know who to go to solve. Nobody can solve it for me. But you out there in the forest, what do you do? Where do you go to listen to the Dharma? And John Munn's response was, I hear the Dharma 24 hours a day, except when I'm asleep. A leaf falls, a bird cries, there's Dharma there. The monk was was taken aback and said, well, so it shows that you know how to listen. And that's what it's all about, being observant, listening carefully, watching carefully, and then reflecting and see what lessons you can learn. The truth is right here. When the Buddha talked about the Four Noble Truths, nothing is far away. The problem is we're not really true in looking, so we don't see the truth, but if we're true in developing Virtue, concentration, discernment, true in being mindful, alert, ardent in our practice, then there's no way the truth can escape us. Now, this is a tradition that's been passed on. We're remembering a John Fuang today. He died 36 years ago in the Thai calendar. That's three cycles of 12 years each. You have to ask yourself how many more cycles are you going to have to go through before you reach the end of your suffering. But we remember the people who have passed on this tradition of being true, to find the truth here inside. So we've got that tradition. We honor the people who passed it on, not only by remembering them, but also by putting the principle into practice. Or as the Buddha would say, practicing the Dharma in accordance with the Dharma. Practicing the truth in accordance with the truth. 
That's when we'll find the truth. As I say, when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. Not all truths will do that. But the truths the Buddha taught, the truths that our Ajahns have passed on to us, they will set you free. As long as you're true in putting them into practice. Because these are truths that you put into practice, not just truths you watch. They're truths that you do. That's what makes them special.